Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin. Welcome, we have a lot of fun here. Listen, I know it's been a while. I'm gonna touch on that a little bit later, but right now I wanted to start off my little Friday vlog because I am about to do something really fun for me. And that is, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and there's not a Whole Foods literally anywhere near me. I have to drive to like the nearest, bigger suburban area to get to one, which is like 50 minutes from where I live, literally, but we just don't have any like health food stores around the area that I live in. And I really just wanna pick up like a few fun things, just wanna see what they have. It's just therapeutic for me. So before anyone judges me, just know that this is something that I really enjoy, okay? So yeah, I am gonna go do that, be back in a little bit, and I'll show you guys what I picked up. I'm not gonna do like my full grocery haul there just cause it's so stupid expensive. I'll get like my normal produce and meat and all that stuff at the normal grocery store. Like I said, I'm gonna touch on this a little bit later, but I just really like desperately need a kind of like self care day. So that's what I'm doing. And I thought that I would bring you guys along with me cause I literally haven't picked up the camera. I have not been feeling up for it and now I do. So I am going to take you guys along my day. Okay, see you after Whole Foods. Hello everyone. Oh, I hate what this camera does with the automatic lighting settings, but it is quite a bit later. It is 5.45 and I just got back from all my adventures. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Whole Foods. I got some fun little things. I meant to kind of film while I was walking around the grocery store, but I just completely forgot to do that. So. That's what happens when you take like two and a half weeks off of making YouTube videos. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm going to take a shower, clean my living room, order some dinner, have a chill night. I'm excited. Okay, this is everything I got. I'm watching Gretchen Garrity's new vlog. I'm gonna pop that off. But first I just went to PetSmart and got some dog food burnt out and I need to feed my dogs tonight, obviously. So I guess I will just start on this end and walk you through. So I did some olive bar olives, guacamole, and pico. I love their guacamole and pico. And then this is sheep's milk feta. Y'all know I can't have dairy, but it's really like cow's dairy that upsets my stomach and I can have goat cheese just fine. So I thought I would try this sheep's milk feta. I'm not sure how I'm gonna react to this, but I'll let you know in another video. I'm excited to try it. And to go with that, I got these dolmas, which are like grape leaves with herbs and rice and sometimes like lentils on the inside. Let's see what is in these ones. Um, rice, grape leaves, onion, dill, mint, stuff like that. I got this Kite Hill dairy-free French onion dip, which I'm very excited about. I haven't tried the dips yet. I love their cream cheese though. Some Hail Mary cups, which are like my very favorite healthier dessert option. I also really like the key lime ones. I got some tofu because Chase is out of town and he's not the biggest tofu fan, but I love tofu, so I'm gonna make it while he's gone. Some strawberries, some of these like root veggie hash browns. It's literally just like potatoes, carrots, sweet potatoes. That's pretty much it. This barista blend oat creamer, some roasted garlic pasta sauce. I got a pizza crust back there. My favorite vegan yogurt. This one is so good, I love it. I've been really liking having just like fun drinks on hand. Um, like in case I want like a glass of wine or something at night that I don't want a glass of wine, you know what I mean? So I picked up a Health Aid, which is my favorite kombucha, but I've never tried this in like new Health Aid Plus situation, so I'm excited about that. And then I got two poppies, which are like a probiotic soda type thing. Just a random can of kidney beans. My favorite vegan mozzarella, this one's awesome. That's gonna be for the pizza. This is just a cucumber. <laughs> Um, I got some rice noodles, my favorite, favorite, favorite brownie mix. It's so good. And then my favorite crackers by the same brand. I literally trust this brand with my life. Some avocado oil spray, just a loaf of sourdough. A few favorite like snacky type things, which are these like sea salt chips and hippies. And I love this jalapeno vegan cheddar flavor. Oh, they're so good. And then I got this coconut aminos garlic sauce. I always see Miss Remy Ashton use this and I can never, ever, ever find it. So when I saw it at Whole Foods, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick it up. It was kind of expensive. And then just some pink salt, cause I'm out. And then this is just stuff like that I needed for the next couple days, basically. I also think I forgot to show this. It's just a bunch of kale, but um, just some bananas, lemon, lime. This is a squash, delicata squash, I think. I've never made this kind before, so I'm excited to try that. And some cherry tomatoes. And that is everything that I got. I'm just snacking on some olives now, but I think I mentioned already that I want to clean the living room. Ugh, I don't know, that might get pushed till tomorrow. It's already six o'clock, like a girl's gotta go to bed in a couple hours, you know? 
They are fully so psycho when I leave the house for a little bit and I come back and it's dinner time. Billy, you want food? <laughs> okay, as you just saw, I decided to go with tidy tonight but clean it in the morning. Cause I just can't see like all the dust and stuff right now. Completely dark outside. So I wanna wait till I have some natural light. So I'll do that first thing tomorrow. I'm gonna put in my Postmates order and hop in the shower. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do like a face mask or something tonight too. I'm excited. feel so fresh and glowy. I have my hair pulled back while this all sinks in and then I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Um, but the pajamas that I wanna wear are in the dryer right now, so I'm just chilling in my robe for a little bit, but I'm not complaining about that because Barefoot Dreams robes, as you know, are the best. I think while I'm waiting for my hair to dry a little, my skincare to sink in, my pajamas to be out of the wash, my food to get here, I think I'm gonna get a tiny, 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 tiny bit more work done. For the day like literally just a couple things that are completely brainless but it'll make my life easier tomorrow if i get them done tonight and that is honestly part of self-care too so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then let's chat okay done working my food's almost here but i thought now would be a good time for a little like girly chat you know so as most of you guys know I'm a grad student and obviously this year has been absolutely insane I started grad school in January and then in February no March in March is obviously when we had to go online and we've been online ever since aside from my schoolwork I also work for the school and that's not to give too much detail but that's what pays for it um, so I am I am always at home. I am at home in this little space right here. I work at the kitchen table all day, pretty much every day. And lately, like the last month I'd say, I have been working legitimately like 12 hour days every single day. And I'm supposed to only be in 30 hours of work and school combined. And because of this, everything that makes life fun has legitimately taken a back burner. Like my self-care has taken a back burner, my workouts, my healthy cooking, my cleaning my house, like all of the things that make me feel whole and like I can like tackle as much work as I have in grad school, all of that has had to take the back burner. And furthermore, because I work every single day in this space, it's so, so hard for me to relax in this space. So I've got to like get a desk or something and put it upstairs so I can have like workspace and home space. Oh God, okay, sorry, food got delivered. But anyway, what I was saying was I have got to find like a way to separate my workspace from my home space. Spike, it's okay. I'm like, I don't even know. Like I really hate complaining because I know given the circumstances right now, like I am so just truly blessed that I have a job I have my health. Don't get me wrong, there have been so many positives for me that have come out of this year, but I am just in like a moment right now that I like can't see the other side of that is so hard. It's so hard. Like I can, I can tell that it's taking a toll on me because like no mental clarity. I'm sick, I have a cough. I already got tested for corona. It's not corona, I just have a normal cough. <laughs> I'm breaking out like crazy. I'm always bloated, I'm always tired. And I'm like, how do I get out of this hole of stress? Do you know what I mean? And not to mention this all kind of compounded this week into like a moment where I was like, I, I cannot do this anymore. I have to take a little break. And what I would love to be doing is spending time with my boyfriend, but he, is out of town this week. We live together and we have spent every single day together literally for eight months because of the pandemic. I don't know, it's just really weird to have him away. It's kind of hard. My little sister lives in our same town so she is spending the night 
every night, but she's not here during the day, you know? So it is kind of lonely. Honestly, I woke up today feeling so, so much better than I have for like weeks now. Well, I'm happy to report that things are on the up and up, but that is just kind of my explanation for kind of where I've been on YouTube. I legitimately have not had the time and also just kind of like how I've been feeling lately. It's just a lot and I don't know, man. I think everyone is kind of experiencing probably the same things that I'm talking about. So it makes me feel like the biggest a-hole in the world to like complain when my life is so good, but I'm just in a moment right now, y'all. I'm just in a moment. That is where I've been. That is why I so desperately need today for some self-care. I wish I could have gotten my nails done today. They are like bitten off because I bite my nails when I'm stressed out. That's it. That's where I'm leaving it tonight. And it's just that. I'm leaving it tonight. I'm going to have my sushi. I'm going to watch some TV. Um, after I eat, I'm going to blow dry my hair and switch to my comfy jammies. And then I'm just going to chill out and have like a nice little drink, watch some shows. Oh, I'm so excited to just like chill. So I have a really hard time like calming down and saying like, okay, this time is for relaxation. So I'm going to try really, really hard to do that tonight. So yeah. Okay, this is what we got. We got, I think this is called Inari, and it's like a fried to tofu strip around some rice. Have some avocado rolls and some spicy edamame, which is legit my favorite thing ever. And then these are yum yum sauce. I don't think it's called that in other parts of the United States. If you're not from the South, but you know what this is, I think they might call it like shrimp sauce or something. I don't know. Tell me in the comments what it is if you're not from the South. Now, I don't really like soy sauce. I think it's just a bit too salty. So I have some liquid aminos here for my own fridge and also some sriracha. I'm a big sauce girl, can you tell? Okay, I am super full. My hair is blow dried. I have my cute little pajamas on. I just got these, aren't they adorable? Little shorts, I oh, love. And this pajama set is from Nasty Gal. I just got it during the like crazy 90% off sale. So now what I'm gonna do is get myself my little like evening fun drink. Recently my favorite thing to have, ah, actually it's like buried, I'm not gonna take it out, but recently my favorite thing to have at night is this like CBD infused tea that I have, like a hot tea, and it's really, really good. But I think I wanna try that Health Aid Plus tonight. One thing I really love doing just to feel like a little bit special and fun is putting my kombucha in a wine glass. Okay, so this is the kombucha. It says Health Aid Plus chill kombucha with lavender vanilla and passion flower and i think passion flower is the ingredient that's supposed to be calming i'm not really sure i love health aid just in general so and lavender vanilla sounds really yummy and like unique you know there we have it uh stunning Ooh, I can't wait to sit down and just be cozy over here with my candles. Ooh. And I just got this blanket out of the dryer so it's so clean and warm. Oh, yes. Okay, shall we taste test? You're like awkwardly on a pillow right now. This angle's not cute, but whatever. Cheers. Oh, it's good. It mostly just has that like kombucha-y flavor if you know what I mean like if you're a big kombucha drinker you know exactly what I'm talking about but it does have like a subtle lavender flavor not overpowering and also a subtle vanilla flavor I don't know what I forget what flower it was passion flower I don't know what that tastes like so I don't know but um yeah you definitely get the lavender a little bit vanilla and I think the vanilla makes it a little bit sweet tasting kind of yeah it's really good I'll report back on the chill properties thing. Oh, I don't know about that, but we'll see. I am gonna watch a TV show. I started Haunting a Bly Manor, which I'm obsessed with Haunting a Pill House. Haunting a Bly Manor, so far so good. I've only watched the first two episodes, but I'm way too scared to watch that without Chase here. So I'm not watching that all alone in my house. Heck no, it's not happening. Some like show suggestions for <laughs> the times that I can watch shows. I am watching New Girl right now, which I know I'm incredibly late to. For some reason, I just had something against it, and excuse you. No, I think I just didn't give it a good enough chance because I got through the first couple episodes and I was like, mm, this isn't that funny. But now I'm in like 
mid season three and I think it's the funniest show I've ever seen possibly. Up there with Schitt's Creek and Parks and Rec, which are I think the funniest shows I've ever seen. I think I'll probably watch that just because I want something like easy to watch. Let me know if you're watching Haunting of Blind Manor. Let me know if you think it's scarier than the first season or not. I've heard some mixed reviews so far. I think it's pretty freaking scary, but I don't know. I have barely seen any of it. So I pretty much like things that are funny or they are scary. I think I'm just gonna put the camera down and that's gonna be where I end off tonight and I will check in with you guys in the morning. I'll let you know how the kombucha is. I'll let you know how new girl was and I'll let you know what time I go to bed and all of that stuff. But I'm just gonna chill because I really need it. Okay, talk to you in the morning. Hi you guys, I just wanna say that last night did me wonders. My house is completely clean now and oh gosh, I just feel so much better. So things I said I would update on, new girl was hilarious as usual. I really enjoyed the kombucha, definitely gonna buy that one again. Uh, oh, I went to bed at like 10, 10.30, somewhere in there. So pretty normal bedtime for me. Like I said, I feel worlds better. So yeah, just I really encourage everyone to occasionally take some time for yourself, even for us really hard workers out there. You need it, it will make you just be a better version of yourself all around. You guys can expect to see me back on my normal once a week uploading schedule, back to the normal content. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next week, bye.